Hello everybody, it's Mr. Second Man with a random gear review and it's the Zippo, Zippo Lighter. You've actually seen this in a EDC 1 and 2. I've already talked a little bit about it there. I'm just going to do its own video because I feel like it's a, a unique American invention here that piece of gear that we should talk about. Um, Zippo dates back to 1932 out of Pennsylvania. They're still there and uh, they're just the design is virtually unchanged it's been used ever since um, military civilian everybody's been carrying these all over the world too and nowadays they have thousands of different designs as far as i understand it many different takes on it um, first of all i just want to say i'm not affiliated with any brands any gun or knife or gear manufacturers anything like that i don't have any special relationships with any of them they don't send me stuff and you know there's no special arrangements i'm just an average guy on an average budget most probably most likely just like you and i just review what works and i call it you know there's been some stuff i've looked at that doesn't work so if it doesn't work i call it there too so this is a piece of gear I've already talked about in EDC 1 and 2, and uh, I feel like this is something that definitely deserves its own little quick video. So I think I should approach this, I figured I'd have to approach this video from almost trying to sell you on it to try to, to help you understand why maybe you should look towards this instead of a standard uh, set of disposable lighters, and uh, what the benefits are, why this would be something worth getting. So kind of attacking the video from that mindset, I uh, just want to show you the components first. Okay, so on a Zippo, if we got the body, we pull this out. This is our lighter unit, and we have inside is just cotton packed material with a wick on the inside. You can see the wick right there. This channel is uh, spring tension in there, and it holds the flints, the little tiny pieces of flint. And uh, basically, you have to refill the fluids, and you have to buy flints from time to time. Um, they're very cheap, and they last a long time. So maintenance is not too extensive. It's pretty relatively simple. It doesn't take that much time or effort. Um, but they're pretty solid. Um, the way it works, it's got this, uh, let me get up close here and focus, has this steel uh, textured uh, knurled wheel here that goes around on the flint, little piece of flint you can see there. And that's how it works. So uh, very basic, not very hard to produce, which to this day is why they're pretty cheap. But they tend to last a very long time. And uh, because they're cheap, easily made, but they're pretty well made. All right, uh, moving on from that, maybe some differences we need to talk about from a standard conventional lighter. Uh, whether you're a smoker or not, I think you can get value of having, having a flame source with you uh, on your EDC or maybe hiking, camping, stuff like that. This is one way to do it because it stays lit. Okay, so let me light this guy up. There we go. Now I can, if I need to, I can do something with my hands. I can melt or heat something over this. Um, if I absolutely have to, I can uh, work on something when I'm in a confined space in the dark and I can just sit this here and just let it light my way. Um, the latest thing I was reading on this, it's about 110, 100 lumens within that area is about how much uh, light value you're gonna get out of this if you just, you know, do that and just set it up somewhere. Also, it's uh, wind resistant. So when this is fully lit as it is, and I'm just sitting there, even you can see even a little bit of wind, it's gonna fight that a little bit, which is kind of nice, okay? Because your standard lighter usually just goes out. And another, another thing about a standard lighter, when I hit it, I have to keep it held down. And the second I let go, the flame goes out, which is the beauty of this, it doesn't. From a survival or hiking or camping standpoint, it's kind of nice because uh, when I fill this up with fluid, um, one of my favorites is the Rons and All stuff, just your basic lighter fuel. Uh, Zippo has their own brand, but I've not really seen a difference, better or worse, between the two. Um, there's many different lighter fluids you can use, but one of the cool things about the Zippo is you can use virtually anything that's flammable. And I've tested it. I've used everything from acetone, rubbing alcohol, uh, kerosene, gasoline, lighter fluid. I've done a lot of different stuff with this, and it seems to work pretty well. Some things work better than others, but uh, lighter fluid is definitely the best choice. But in a pinch, or if all you have is one type of fluid, then it'll soak it in the cotton, and uh, it'll still use it, which is kind of nice. One of the easiest ways to recharge it, we used to take these with uh, some 550 cord and we would take out the body and dip that in a can of gas or a gas tank and pull it out and instantly got recharged and we just put it back. Wipe it off, make sure you don't have any flammable material on your hands and then you pull it out, it's ready to go. Usually it ignites on the first try, maybe one or two tries might be required. A very basic but pretty well made uh, piece of gear. One of the last things I need to talk about is the fact that you can customize it. Um, you can get different shell bodies, you can get them engraved, there's many different types. So the Zippo is a very 
very basic, um, I think relatively underestimated overlooked piece of gear that could be pretty useful for survival or camping or whatnot. I mean, I can signal, I could be able to flash a little bit with a heavily polished Zippo um, if I need to. And even if, you know, this is still valuable to me in a survival setting if I was out stranded in, in the woods or something, because even though maybe I'm out of fuel, um, I can still ignite with the uh, sparks. The spikes, are, the sparks are still going to be useful to me if I need to make a fire. So, uh, very basic, quick video, and I uh, just wanted to let you know a little bit more detail about that. And thanks for watching.